Section 401 is an introduction to matrices. You've already experienced this a little bit in Chapter 3, but let's review um, some matrix reminders here. Matrices are always named by a letter. So I might want to name this uh, letter A. Okay, this would be matrix A. And it's important to know the dimensions of the matrix. Uh, the dimensions are row by column. So this is a 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2. It has four rows and it has two columns. So matrix A is a 4 by 2. Uh, we're going to be doing math on matrices in this chapter. So remember you've got a matrix shows you the, the shoulders and the feet. So you've got like a parallel line with those little indents in there. So again, this could be called matrix A and it would be a 4 by 2 matrix. So the first type of math we're going to learn to do on this is scalar multiplication and it's very much like distributive property. So I've got this 4 out here on the outside and I am literally going to multiply the 4 by everything that's in here and then I will put it in the location of the number that I multiplied it by. So 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. 4 times 12 is 48. 4 times 4 is 16. Then I'm going to start on the second row. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 0. 0.5 is 2. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. So that would be the matrix that you get when you multiply 4 times this matrix. That's what we call scalar multiplication. We know that two matrices, if they're equal, if they have an equal sign between them, it means that each element of a matrix has a corresponding element in the other matrix. This matrix is a 2 by 1 matrix, okay? So there's two rows and one column. This is a 2 by 1 matrix. They have to have the same dimensions to be equal. So I know that this spot right here is equal to this spot right here because it's the first row, first column, first row, first column. So I can say 2x equals y. I can also say this equals this. 2x plus 3y equals 12. Now you're back to the last chapter where you have to solve a system of equations. Well, this is set up perfectly for substitution. I know y is equal to 2x, so over here in this equation, rather than writing y, I write what y is equal to. So what I substitute in right there is my 2x. So now everything's written in terms of x, and now I can solve it. So I have 2x plus 6x equals 12. And so I'm going to turn around and I'm going to put, I've got an 8x here equals 12. And I'm going to divide. So I have 12 over 8, but I'll need to reduce that down to lowest terms. So I divide both the top and the bottom by 4 and I get a 3 over 2. Well, that's going to be my value for x. And then I'm going to have to substitute it back into my key. So I have 2 times 3 over 2 equals y, or y is equal to 3. So my x value is 3 over 2. My y value is 3. Okay, now you try a couple of these. Go ahead and pause the video and come back to it. So on this one, I have a 2x plus y equals 6, 
and this one I have a x minus 3y equals 31. Now I would do elimination on this. Um, probably multiply the top one by 3. So that's going to give me a 6x plus 3y equals 18. Bring this right over. Um, so that's going to give me an x minus 3y equals 31. When I add these, those go away. I get a 7x equals 49. When I divide by the 7, I get an x is equal to 7. Then I would have to plug it back in to one of those two equations. So I already know my x value. So I go 2 times 7, because that's my value for x, plus y equals 6. 14 plus y equals 6. I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides, so y is going to equal a negative 8. Okay. So that's the value that you would have for both the x and the y. If you plugged it back in there, you go uh, 2 times x is 14 plus negative 8 is 6, so you know 6 equals 6. All right, this one you have, um, this one's a little bit more complicated. You have 3x plus y equals x plus 3. And you have, I'm going to leave a little space here, x minus 2y is equal to y minus 2. So you're going to have to bring the x over here. So you have 2x, because you're going to subtract the x, plus y equals 3. And then you'd bring the y over here. So you have x minus 3y equals negative 2. Now you can put these two equations together, this equation and this equation. So you have 2x plus y equals 3, and you have x minus 3y equals negative 2. If I multiply this top one by 3, so I can get rid of the y, so I have 6x plus 3y equals 9. So that's going to give me 7x equals 7, or x equals 1. And I'd have to plug that back in to one of these equations. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into. You could do down here where you've already uh, consolidated it. So 2 times 1 plus y equals 3. Remember, that's that equation rearranged. So I have 2 plus y equals 3 or y equals 1. So x equals 1, y equals 1. Let me move it up so you can see it. I didn't realize it was off the page. Okay, so get a good look at that. So your answer should have been 1 and 1. All right, your homework on this is page 191, 14 through 24 even.